Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this scan tool network. In this video, it's a short demonstration of the iCarsoft CR Max. We're in a mini here and we've got the traction control, the ABS and the exclamation warning lights on the dashboard here. Uh, don't worry about these two for now. Um, we're going to di di diagnose these faults with the iCarsoft CR Max. Now I'll put the link to this kit in the description below this video. Uh, there are fakes, there are clones on the market so if, make sure you use the links in the description below this video and this will take you to the genuine and official product. Um, the process here is the same for any vehicle, but right now we're doing it on a, a Mini. So uh, we're gonna, we've are gonna we got this tool plugged into the diagnostic port of the vehicle, and we're going to click on to Diagnostics. It's a touchscreen system. Uh, quickest way to find the Mini is go to EU or European and then select Mini. Obviously you would select, if you were doing it on a different vehicle, you would select whatever vehicle you have. Um, but it does work on a wide range of vehicles. Quickest thing I would say to do is go VIN identity. It automatically reads the VIN code of the vehicle and just click OK. Just click yes to that message. It's found the vehicle and we're gonna go through and click on to control unit. Uh, and this basically shows us a list of everything that the car has installed and things that we can get uh, access to. So we need to find the ABS system um, or the traction control system and in the BMW and Minis, it's listed as DSC Dynamic Stability Control. So if we click onto that, and then we click on to read fault code. Uh, we can click on to, we've got 48082A, permanent fault, wheel speed sensor, rear, right. So that's that goes along with what we thought as well. Uh, it's a, a rear right ABS sensor that needs to be replaced on this vehicle. If you are unsure, what you can do is you could leave the tool plugged in, you could do view data uh, and go to wheel speed sensors. Now what this will do is, um, this will, well you can see there, these are ready to go. We've got 0 0.00, 0 0.00, 0 0.00, but the rear right is just a zero. So if we started driving, which I'm not going to do right now, but if we started driving, the values for these, that one, that one, and then the top one would all be moving, but the the rear right would stay at zero. That That is a, a true indication that there is a fault with that ABS sensor. Uh, but, you know, we know, we know that in any case. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get that changed out. Once we, once we can put that new ABS sensor in, it's just a case of coming to clear fault memory. You see it's saying here, erasing fault codes. It'll probably give us, it says done, so it's, it's, it's attempted to do it. And whether it's been fixed or not, it's down to yourself. So we've still got the warning lights on the dashboard there. And no doubt the fault, the fault code is still there. So that's basically because we haven't actually changed anything. We haven't repaired the fault. Um, and that is, a, in essence, how diagnostics tools work. Uh, but that's just a quick indication or quick um, demonstration of the iCars of CR Max diagnosing a ABS and traction control warning lights in this vehicle. Like I say, I'll put the links to the genuine kit in the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.